Hello and welcome back. This is Stephen Bucks Coins and welcome to the new video. This is a pre-decimal video that has been allocated pre-decimal coin hunt 100. We start off with three half penny pieces. The Queen Elizabeth one on the end here is a 1966. We then have a George V from 1950. So George VI from 1950, there you go, George VI portrait, 1950, and then this one is an Elizabeth, the second coin from 1965. There's no difference between these. You have all of them will show the golden hind on the reverse. It's just there's a different portrait on two of the coins, the Queen Elizabeth II and a father George VI. The lowest value denomination of the predecimals, uh, apart from the farthing, and the farthing I went out, went out at the beginning of Elizabeth II's reign. Next we have an Elizabeth II penny from 1967. We have another one from 1962. Another penny. We then have one from George V from 1940, sorry, 1936. That's George V. And the final one again is Elizabeth II, and it's 1965. On the backs of these coins, the one, pen, uh, one penny coins, you will see a lighthouse in a lot of them. Let me just get my pointy stick. <laughs> On this first one, but the second one, it's the lighthouse is just there. Very occasionally, on a few of them, you'll see a ship under sail, which will be on this side of Britannia. It's not on any of these coins. Again, that one has a lighthouse on. The third Elizabeth, the coin, again, has a lighthouse on, in that corner. So we'll just move those three out of the way and we'll have a look at the George V one. George V, this is 1936, a couple of years before he died. And there is a difference in this one. If you look on the side there, there is no lighthouse. And there is also no ship. There are a lot of these coins from earlier than Elizabeth where you've got where the trident's pointing and how many dots around and whether there's a broken edge in the dots and things like that that makes 1p collecting from that era very difficult on occasions but there's a lovely coin these ones don't show that much wear or tear considering what they're 90 years old some of them getting on for 90 years old the next denomination that we have is Elizabeth is a uh, is the newer style of the three threepenny bit, which was all threepence, and they show the um, the gates, which is also the uh, thing for the House of the Parliament, the uh, the icon for the House of Parliament. That one there is a bit bit nasty. It's got some third degree on it makes the date almost unreadable this one is 1956 and again it's Elizabeth II as you can see there and this one is George VI and it's from 1942 now we'll get rid of the mucky one for a minute on the back you'll see the gates of the uh, the portcullis gate which, as I say, is an emblem of Parliament. It was also used by Henry VII's mother as well as part of her coat of arms. So it goes back an awful long time. Then this George VI one, which is from 1942, on the rear has a thrift plant. Inside, inside a, in a tiara type thing at the bottom. What I mean by that is this right at this very bottom end here. 
you have the date, you have the value, and you have the thrift plant. Now, nobody has been able to give me a Castalian thing as to why the threepence had the three uh, had the thrift plants on. However, one of the ones that seems to fit is that uh, the government of the time, uh, just after the Second World War, wanted people to be thrifty and save some money. Now, whether that is true or not, I don't know, but it is a good story either way, isn't it? Right, the next one, all three of them belong to the reign of our late monarch, Queen Elizabeth II. That one there is from 1958. This one here is 1956. And the third one is from 1962. The, th it's the standard portrait of Elizabeth during the pre decimal range, I don't think. It didn't change at all from 1952 through to 1971. I don't think they changed the portrait at all. Or well, they may have been from uh, the very first portrait to the second portrait, I think, maybe during that time. The reverse shows the four flowers of the nations, which we now have on, uh, uh, or we have a version on, we have the flower version on the uh, two pound coin, the new two pound coin. This one is a little bit different to the fact that uh, Wales is now is represented on here by the leak. Uh, what is it on the actual two pound coin, the new one? Is it is uh, you got the daffodil rather than the leak? Again, very nice coins, and the condition of these coins is quite simply very is exceptional. There's no, there's very little or no damage to them, which again is surprising for the amount of time they're out in circulation. On this one again, we have Elizabeth II's portrait, and we have from 1957 the Lion Rampant of Scotland, and on this one we also have a Lion Rampant of Scotland from 19. I think it's 53, which would be the first year that she actually had a portrait on the coins. Both rampant line of Scotland. This is a variant, and the one shilling coin was one of the few coins in the pre decimal range that had variants, um, a bit like the one pound, the original one pound round coins had variants of what was. Uh, of what was the um, definitive coins. In this particular case on the shilling we had the Lion of England, we had the rampant Lion of Scotland uh, and that was it plus the standard shilling coin. So there's three variants that were produced certainly in Elizabeth's reign anyway. So those are the two uh, the one shilling coin sometimes known as a bob we have two two shilling coins, or what do they what did they call two bob? Also florin, also two shilling. That's the Queen Elizabeth. And then we have a father George the Sixth. Now the Queen Elizabeth one has a central rose, and then you have the flowers of the nation going around that rose, or the emblems of the nation, because it was a thistle for Scotland, the Welsh leek, and the shamrock from Ireland. And the central area there was the Tudor rose, which was the English one. So that was the Elizabethan one. And finally we look at the George VI version. This was slightly different in its layout. You still had the central rose of uh, Tudor Road of England, which was crowned. Then on either side you had the Scottish thistle and the shamrock from Ireland. 
Underneath the thistle you had G and underneath the uh, shamrock you had R. This coin is dated 1949, so it's in the last part of his life. So that completes this hunt. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, could you please give me the thumbs up? If you've, at the moment, I'm trying to improve my subscriber level. I'm filming this at the beginning of December of 2023. I set myself a target at the beginning of January of 2023 of a of 150 more subscribers than I had at the end of 2022. So I. My target was 250 for the year, in total. I managed to reach that target just before the end of November of 2023. I will be setting a new target in January of 2024 when I've everything settled down and I've finished doing the 31 days of December where I'm doing a video every day. And if you can help me to achieve my new target, I would be extremely grateful. If you're having a hunt, I hope you have a successful one and you find the coins you're looking for. If you're buying coins, I hope you can get the coins you want for the price you want to pay. And finally, thank you for staying to the end of the video and from me until we meet up again on this channel, which I hope won't be too soon into the future. From me, bye bye. Ta-da now.